Okay, uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial. I didn't find anything for the way it currently works on a Mac, but to get uh, ProRes and all that stuff working, uh, you're going to need to go to Adobe Media Encoder. This is for people using the Creative Cloud and for people using uh, Mavericks or Yosemite. Uh, you're going to come to uh, basically this Adobe link that I've shared. Um, you're going to proceed to download. You're going to get all these files. This is so you can export ProRes and that type of stuff. Um, you go straight into the uh, ProRes presets, you see them all here. You just downloaded these now. What do you do with them? Well, the other tutorials tell you to go library QuickTime, uh, but that's not quite what you're supposed to do. Um, you go to uh, Adobe Media Encoder. Open this up real quick. Uh, and then you can right click anywhere inside this uh, preset area and do import presets. And that's where you find your download. You, you can select all or just whatever you want. Uh, you open it and it adds those in. Uh, just for good measures, after I did that, um, I went ahead and uh, synced mine with the cloud uh, just so I wouldn't have to mess with it on the future. So, anyways, after it's imported in here, you're pretty much good. Um, you can get out of there. And now, when you launch uh, Adobe Premiere, um, I have a project connected to an external hard drive that's like USB 2.0 from a client, so it takes a minute. Uh, also had a bunch of weird filters I was trying to get working for Red Giant. So basically, uh, go ahead and let this render. It's reading the entire project from the drive, probably a bad idea. Well, anyways, I'll go for it anyways. Um, file, export, media. It's just going to take a second. See, it's rendering. So now, when you go to your QuickTime, you're going to be able to get all of your delicious ProRes flavors and whatever you want. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, it's my first one, so please don't go too hard on me.